All right, the first thing I need to do is make it mine. Okay, so there it is. Friends, I have had the most unbelievable week this week. The first thing that happened is the computer that I use for editing video completely blew up. It's in the shop. They say it'll be back in a week. I'm thinking it's probably going to be more like three. And that is going to dramatically impact the quality of the videos that I produce between now and then because I rely on that computer for doing all the video editing. Anyway, we'll see how what I'm using right now works out. Hopefully you guys like it. Anyway, this is my latest acquisition. It's a Tormach PCNC 1100 CNC milling center. And I don't have any tooling for it, but I got an awesome deal on it. I found it in a warehouse. It's 10 years old. It's never been used. Uh, the entire control circuitry is all here. It came with the touchscreen monitor. And one of the things that they tossed in was the duality lathe, which is a CNC lathe that goes with it. Um, so we're going to have to find out how all this stuff comes together. I need tooling for this thing, though, before I can even use it. I also have to wire up this section of the bay with uh, 220 volts. And I also have to plumb down some uh, air, but none of those things are really a big problem. So I think getting this thing up and running and getting it all dialed in, getting tooling to be able to use it, is going to suck up about the next month. Then I can actually start learning how to use it. I'm set to uh, go to a class at Sierra College in January, uh, specifically for this thing, and uh, we'll see how all that pans out. Now the reason I got this thing, aside from the fact that it was an incredibly good deal, is for the injection molds. You know, we've been working with injection molds, we tried the plaster, I tried some uh, silicone rubber off camera, that didn't work all that well. Uh, we tried some pewter molds that you might have seen on Instagram, and those did not work all that well either. But the industry standard, CNC milling the mold from a block of aluminum. That's the way they do it. So we're joining the 21st century and that's the way we're going to do it too. We have a new model of the injection molding machine coming out. It's got a powered screw drive on it that will automatically uh, force the piston down. It's going to have six cubic inches of material that it can inject and it's really going to be a nice unit and that's going to be the one that we'll be selling. But without molds, an injection molding machine is nothing but a really expensive hot glue gun that gives you a big blob of plastic. So this is going to bring us there. We're going to be able to offer molds with the injection molding machine. If you can give us a 3D CAD model of what you want, we can give you the mold to make it. With the holiday season coming up, we're hoping to have a big run on clamp makers that you can get at clampmaker.com, carver's mallets that you can get at carversmallet.com, and steel hairpin legs that you can get at steelhairpinlegs.com. All those things. We are in mass production mode right now, cranking those out, and uh, also some other craft items that I'll show you here in a minute. I've got a ton of work backed up. I've got welding I'm doing for the Extract Butler Rosin Press people. I've got, uh, I've got to make 10 of these giant block stacking games. Bingo! So that's all we can really show you this week. I do have projects in the works, but uh, all the footage is on SD cards and I can't get it off because I don't have the computer that I normally use to edit video with. Um, I'm shooting this on an Android phone that a friend loaned me and we'll see how that turns out. Anyway. That's all for this week. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something in mind that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.